Um, so it's called Lodestar. Um, it is an implementation of the beacon chain at this point. Um, ultimately, we're looking at building like a, potentially a light node, but not a full node. Um, so to give you some background, um, we had one team member who was uh, particularly interested in um, taking part in the whole Ethereum 2.0 revolution, advancement, whatever. Um, and so she had just kind of like started this on the side and had some friends helping her and we quickly realized that this was going to be a huge thing and hopped on it and we've been trying to put some more development hours into it, get more people involved, get some funding and make this a real project. Um, so let's start with JavaScript. Why JavaScript? Um, so I don't know if you guys know what Ethereum JS VM is. Um, it's essentially a JavaScript implementation of the uh, EVM. Um, and it's very interesting because it's not a production level um, implementation, but it's arguably one of the more frequently used by developers. Um, if you're running like Ganache or even Remix or something like that, like you're still interacting with JavaScript and ultimately it's the JavaScript VM that's running in the background. So the whole kind of Ethereum JavaScript world is largely focused on development tooling. Um, and so we're hoping to kind of be that iteration of the beacon chain. Um, so we're comprised of a few components here. We've got the main Lodestar repo. Uh, this is kind of where the main beacon chain lies. Um, I don't know if you guys have looked at the ETH 2.0 spec, but there's kind of a few elements to it. Um, so we've also started implementing um, simple serialize. Um, which is just a serialization library, and that's pretty much good to go. Um, one thing to note is the spec is constantly changing, so we're like constantly playing catch up. Um, so we were up to date, and now I think we're falling behind. Um, we're also implementing BLS signatures in JavaScript, um, and some gossip pops up. Um, so I mentioned JavaScript. Um, Really what we're trying to do actually, we're kind of like torn on this, is do a TypeScript implementation. Um, so for those of you who are familiar, TypeScript is essentially um, a transpiler that allows you to add types to JavaScript. So basically takes what you write and converts it down to regular JavaScript with all your type checks and <coughs> other useful things. Um, so we've been playing around with it. I think ultimately for the main implementation, it makes sense. Um, obviously with types, you've got a little bit of security guarantees. Um, but one of the big things that we're kind of, I'm personally having a lot of internal dilemmas around is um, in the spec sheet, they're very specific about um, integer sizing. Um, so int 8, int 16, etc. And some really bizarre ones like int 20, I think. Um, and, you know, does TypeScript actually make sense to enforce those types? Um, and so that's one thing that we've been kind of playing around with. If anybody here is a god at TypeScript, I'd love to talk to you. Um, but this library here, the fixed size number TypeScript, is kind of our first attempt at maybe looking at what benefits that could provide us. Um, ultimately, with TypeScript, you just aren't really doing uh, type validation, so you, you don't really get all the normal gains you would in a language like Rust or C or whatever. Um, so... Yeah, definitely if anybody here knows TypeScript, please come talk to me. Um, this is also an open call for contribution. Um, we are very driven to make this an open community sourced uh, project. So if anybody is interested in taking part, we are very happy to help onboard you. Um, we have a Gitter channel where you can chat with us. Um, and ultimately, like we're just looking at making this a fun but successful project. So if anybody has any interest, please do reach out. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say. We're still very much in development phases. Um, we recently got some large funding from a angel investor, I guess you'd call them. Um, so yeah, any questions? Any questions? Okay, I think it's a pleasure.